Aluminum on the left side is zero. Aluminum on the right side is plus three. Silver on the left side is plus one. Silver on the right side is zero. So aluminum went from zero to positive three. That would be oxidation. Therefore, aluminum is our anode. And then silver goes from positive one to zero. How do you become less positive by gaining electrons? So silver underwent reduction. And that means that silver is our cathode. Okay, so to answer part A, the EMF in standard conditions is equal to the reduction potential at the cathode where reduction takes place minus the reduction potential at the anode where the oxidation takes place. Uh, if you look it up on the table, aluminum Al3 plus plus three electrons Al this here is negative 1.66 volts. And then Ag plus plus an electron. Ag, if you look it up on the reduction potential table, is 0 0.80 volts. So the EMF in standard conditions is equal to E at the cathode, which is silver. 0 0.80 volts minus E at the anode, which is aluminum, negative 1.66 volts. So what would that be? That will give us, that gives us a voltage of 2.46 Volts. So this is the EMF in standard conditions. Part B. What is the voltage in non-standard conditions? Voltage in non-standard conditions is equal, is equal to the voltage in standard conditions minus RT over NF LN of Q. All right, so let's identify all of those. Uh, e we determined earlier is the voltage in standard conditions is 2.46 volts. R is a constant, it's 8.314 joules per mole per Kelvin. T is the Kelvin temperature, that would be 43 degrees Celsius. It has to be in Kelvin plus 273, that gives us 316 Kelvin. N is the number of electrons, that will be three. The number of electrons that goes from the anode to the cathode. See, this is the oxidation. Half reaction involves three electrons and the reduction involves one electron. So you have to multiply by three, so N is equal to three. Q is equal to, it's just like solving for K, it's products over reactants. So we do, that will be only aqueous and gases, no solids, no liquids. So Q is equal to the concentration of Al3 plus, raised to its coefficient, one, over the concentration of Ag plus, 
raised to its coefficient, which is 3. Again, we don't include solids, we don't include liquids. So let's plug in the values. That would be 0 0.55 raised to the first over 0 0.30 raised to the third. And that will give you 20.37. Let's plug in the values. E is equal to 2.46 volts minus RT. R is 8.314. T is 316 Kelvin over NF. N is 3. F is 964. 485 ln of q and q we determined to be 20.37 20 20 ln 20.37 if you do the math that will give you if you do the math you're going to get 2.43 volts. So there was a decrease of 0.03 volts from the standard conditions.